Well, as the time of uncertainty drags on, student athletes, well, they're losing out on their opportunity to play sports. It's been a devastating time for a lot of them, but particularly high school seniors whose school year came to a halt. As gut-wrenching as it is for one Greer family, they've still found a way to honor the hard work their son has put in for many, many years. So now the Greer High School seniors baseball jersey is hung proudly on the front door for everyone to see. Fox Carolina's Kayla Convoy live for us tonight. So Kayla, this is something they are encouraging other folks to do as well. That's right, because so many of these seniors were really looking to what this year means. The chance to go to prom and to walk across the stage at, at graduation and even to play one final season with their friends and teammates. And now all of that could be gone. The number 22 is now hung on display. The Fitzgerald family says it's a symbol to show off the sacrifices high school athletes are having to pay with their seasons getting cut, all due to the fast spreading coronavirus. I've been playing my whole life. Like you work up for your senior year because like you hit in the cage and stuff with your dad and you do all that work and like you start your weightlifting and all that and then your senior year starts and you're not able to play. It just I don't think it hits until I have to turn in my jersey and stuff. For Travis Fitzgerald, it's been a difficult time. He says there were so many life events he was looking forward to in these last few months of high school that are now up in the air. You hear about prom and like I didn't go prom my junior year. So if that's taken, I ain't going to that. And then graduation, you look forward to that. I might not get that either, so. Which is hard for his mom, Taffy, to wrap her head around, especially since Travis is her youngest child. She wanted him to experience the same things that her older children got to do. Tons of guilt and then a lot of shame on me as mom for not treasuring that last game that we, pay, we played a couple of weeks back, not sitting there thinking this could be it. And um, I guess that's part of life is just trying to treasure the moments that you have and keeping in mind that that moment you're experiencing right now could always be the very last. She says this was supposed to be such a special time in Travis's life. So as a mom, she feels cheated in a way, not being able to see him experience his final season. It's just been difficult. And I know that I have a lot of good friends who are in the same boat as me. And we just try to stick together and, and make it through, but it doesn't make it any easier. They are just trying to take it one day at a time. But for Travis, the hardest part is not being able to play his favorite sport with his friends. The seniors, we've been friends our whole lives basically, and we still keep in touch like every day. His school has not yet announced what they will do for graduation, but Travis does plan on attending North Greenville University in the fall just to keep that education going. Reporting live in Greenville, Kayla Convoy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.